Welcome to the verse of the day. May you be blessed as you receive it. Hello, everyone. I've got uh, my brother Steve with me here today. How you doing, Steve? Hey, brother. How you doing, Pedro? Doing great. Blessed. I'm blessed. Amen. We are blessed despite uh, what we're going through. We are encouraged because my brother here has also been sharing some verses online and encouraging others with the encouragement the Lord has given us. And so we wanted to read a very short psalm here, Psalm 100. It only has five verses, but focusing particularly on verse 3. And I know my brother has some insight to share concerning this verse. So I'm just going to read verse 1 through 5, and then we'll kind of hone in on verse 3, okay? Shout for joy to the Lord, all the earth. Worship the Lord with gladness. Come before him with joyful songs. Know that the Lord is good. It is he who made us, and we are his. We are his people, the sheep of his pasture. Enter his gates with thanksgiving and his courts with praise. Give thanks to him and praise his name, for the Lord is good and his love endures forever. His faithfulness continues throughout all generations. Amen. So this verse 3 is, is really intriguing because it's encouraging us to know that God is good. You know, we have a saying, right? God is good. <laughs> all the time. And all the time. God is good. Amen. And, and the verse says, he made us, we are his. So it's kind of putting us in the light that we're God's personal possession. And then it says, we're his people, the mm -hmm. sheep of his pasture. You know, what kind of images go through your mind when God is calling us the sheep of his pasture. What do you think about? Yeah, you know, I, I, I think of the shepherd when you, when you watch, you see many scenes of the shepherd and his sheep, how they follow him. They could be, and when they all gather together in the fields, all the shepherds and the hundreds of sheep that are there, and he just calls out or he whistles to them, and his flock alone just goes to him. You know, that's, that reminds me of, how God is calling to us, you know, he's calling us to follow him, to follow his son Jesus uh, in the way that he's given us, the path that he's given us. So it's like God whistling to me, you know, that always amazes me on how the shepherds with their flock and they know his voice and only his voice. And when he goes and he calls and they just go with him. That's exactly how I feel with God calling us, right? Yeah, it makes it so so personal. And, and if we hear his voice, as Jesus says, right, my, shep my sheep know my voice. Those yes. are the people that know he is good. Amen. We know he is a good God. And he leads us. He protects us. You know, it's a very, like, we're his personal possession. You know, that makes us feel so special. No wonder the psalmist in this psalm, you know, says, shout for joy to the Lord. Worship the Lord with gladness come with joyful songs. And even at a time like this, how do we apply that though? When so many people are fearful and maybe they won't be able to relate to this, what would you tell them? Well, you know, the, the thing that I've been discussing these past week and a half is that not, you know, God doesn't want us to fear as we know fear. Oh, I'm afraid, but he wants us to give him reverence and, and understand that his love, helps get us through the times like this not to be so much afraid but to run to him run mm -hmm. to him and how do we get to know god through his word through his scriptures understand his greatest command is to love and he loves all of us he loves all of us Amen. we need to know he's the one that created us so let's run to him and 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 enjoy the love that he wants to share with us okay. so if we as his sheep know that we're in danger Instead of running away from our shepherd, we're going to run to him, right? Yeah. And that's what run. we do at a time like this. Without we, uh, hesitation. Without hesitation. Instead of maybe hearing the news every day or trying to uh, figure out some other way of uh, making us feel good that's not going to last, we should really run to him. And that, I think, is what's going to fill us 
with the comfort of being joyful because he takes care of us through and the darkest valley. That he does, you know, and that's, and that's what I love. You know, Pedro, one of my favorite psalms, right? From psalm 23, Amen. when we go through the valley and shadow of death, you know, that's not to be fearful, but to know that God is with you. And, and, and that's what I just want everybody to know. Look, we can't take parts of the Bible and apply. We have to take all of God's commands to what we need to do to come to him and to be with him in his kingdom today. Amen. Amen. So we want to encourage all of you to become sheep of his pasture. And like Steve said, you got to get into the word. You got to get rid of any idols or anything else that you might uh, be prone to putting too much attention to or giving of yourself to. Instead, invest those energies in God. Rely on him and take Jesus as your savior. How do we do that? Well, we have to repent. That's the first step. And we want to be born again by being baptized in his name. And that way his blood can wash us. And we can, and God claims us as his own, as the sheep of his pasture. And uh, he protects us. You know, he's with us throughout this whole journey we call life until the very end. Amen. Thank you so much, bro, for being with me today. And have Thanks a great for having day. Me, I appreciate it. All righty. God bless you all. God bless you. Go with God. I pray you have been blessed by the insight you received from today's verse of the day. Walk with the Lord and be a blessing.